Cliffield Hall is a privately owned Grade 1 listed country house residing in a beautiful rural setting in Staffordshire, England. Glithfield became the home of the Baggots in 1360 when Ralph married the girl next door who happened to be the Blithfield heiress Elizabeth. Across from the south-facing orangery is a 13th century Blithfield Parish Church of St. Leonard, which apparently replaced an even older building that features in the Doomsday Book. Originally, the hall appeared as a fortress, surrounded by a moat and embattled towers, but the present house is mainly Elizabethan, with a Gothic facade added in the 1820s. By 1945, Years of neglect had taken its toll on the hall, and the fifth baron, Gerald Baggett, took the decision to sell it together with its 650-acre estate to the South Staffordshire Waterworks Company. Their intention was to build the reservoir dam, which was finally completed in 1953, and the opening was carried out by the Queen Mother, after which she took lunch in Blithfield's Great Hall. When the fifth Baron died in 1946, his successor and cousin, Carol Baggett, repurchased the property along with 30 acres of land. Aided by a grant from the Historical Buildings Council, he began the daunting and formidable task of its extensive renovation and restoration. It's said that if it wasn't for Carol's intervention, the hall would no doubt be a ruin today. In September 1959, the sixth Lord Baggett sold Blithfield Hall at an open auction and the property was bought for 12000 by his wife, Nancy Baggett. On Carol's death in 1961, the property was bequeathed to his widow and to the family of his sister, Enid Baggett Jewett.
Sherfield Hall was open to daily visitors in 1956 but was closed to the public in 1977 prior to its subsequent conversion into private residences. The hall was finally divided into four separate houses in 1986 but the main part, which incorporates the Great Hall, is still presently owned by the Bagot Jewett Trust. Although the hall is close to the public, it still hosts the Abbots Bromley Horn Dance that's performed there in early September every year by the villagers. <laughs>